Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. Happy Monday, puppy parents. Or whenever you happen to be listening. So glad you could join us today. This episode is packed full of furry factoids about the differences between the short and long-legged Russell Terriers. The most important factoid is that they are all cute. Right? <laughs> okay. Let's start there. Okay, that's a fact. <laughs> Cuteness. Okay, agreed. So here's a little bit of JRT history for you, courtesy of LoveMyDogs.com. The origin story for Jack Russell Terriers was described in the memoir of Reverend John Russell, written by E.W.L. Davies. In 1815, the Reverend, then 20 years old and strolling near the River Cherwell, encountered a milkman with a terrier. The Reverend was absolutely passionate about fox hunting, which incorporates the help of dogs. Of the milkman's terrier, John said he'd only seen such a dog in his dreams. <laughs> Determined to acquire the dream dog, he bargained with the owner until the female terrier called Trump came into his possession. She was all white with dark tan over each eye and ear and a dot of tan at the root of her tail. Her coat was thick and close and slightly wiry. Her legs were straight while her entire frame suggested hardiness and endurance. Since then, breeders in England, Australia, and the USA have contributed to the development of the breed we know today. Now let's take a closer look at what makes a Jack Russell Terrier a Jack Russell Terrier versus a Parsons Russell Terrier. So, a JRT is a small terrier breed first developed in England for fox hunting. They have mostly white-colored coat or fur with brown and or black patches. They are not very tall and heavy, but the height at the withers or the top of their front shoulders is about 10 to 15 inches. And the weight of JRTs range around 13 to 17 pounds, and they have a compact, balanced body structure. Also, the top of their skulls are actually flat, and their ears are V-shaped and flapped forwards, as also with fox terriers. They are energetic dogs and require heavy exercise and constant stimulation for better health. Jack Russell Terriers can live a long life, ranging from around 13 to 16 years. Wiggles, our first Russell Terrier, lived to be about 17 and a half. His Rainbow Bridge anniversary was actually yesterday, nine years ago. Wow, I know. I still miss him. These littles last a long time, and the longer the better, because they're just so lovable. Amen. (laughs) (laughs) Lastly, the JRT is not to be confused with the colloquially named Puddin Jack Russell. (laughs) You heard me, Puddin. Puddin. Which is an even shorter legged version, often with the crooked front legs. Uh And they they have pointed ears, but their little front legs pop out. Yeah, they look like they're doing a ballet stance. Yeah, that's a Puddin Jack Russell, if you didn't know that. (laughs) I didn't. I didn't either. Next, there's the Parson Russell Terrier, or the PRT. It's also a small dog breed originally bred in the late 1700s for fox hunting, all about the same time. The most obvious feature of PRTs is their resemblance to JRTs. Most people don't know the difference between JRT and Parson RT. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when people ask what kind of dog Carson is, we just say Jack Russell because, yeah. you know, they've probably heard of that. They, they most likely haven't heard of Parson Russell unless they're into the breed. Mm-hmm. So bred about the same time, they both eventually became two separate distinct breeds, mostly because of the way that they were employed in hunting. The taller PRTs were better suited for running with packs of dogs and rounding up the foxes, while the shorter JRTs were transported in terrier bags on horseback ah. and, and then released to go underground into small fox dens. Interesting. Parsons have longer legs, and the lengths of which are almost equal to the length of the body. Yeah, so you can usually tell the difference between JRTs and PRTs because the PRT body length and leg length create a more square shape, while the JRTs with their cute stubby little legs have a more rectangular shape. So they're a little, their body's a little longer, and they're a little closer to the they're ground. They're more dachshundish. Yeah. So the PRT's head is also longer than a JRT's, and the chest is large and has V-shaped dropped ears being pointed towards the eyes. They have the same kind of, we call them Dorito ears. Yeah. 
So they average about one foot tall at the withers and average about 15 to 20 pounds. They're a bit heavier because they're a bit bigger. Right. Parsons are super fast and agile with a proven record of accomplishment in excelling at dog sporting events. You see so many viral videos of the Jack Russells running around the agility courses. They're mm-hmm. just so good at it. Yeah. Besides the height and leg length, there are a few other differences we'd like to note, especially for those of you who are thinking of getting a JRT or PRT. Let's talk about coats and shedding. Oh, boy. Okay. Both breeds come in one of three coat types. Short coat, which is like our Carson and Wiggles, or short coats. Broken coat, which is coarse with areas of short and long hair. And then there's the rough coat, which is long hair and it's soft long hair. Yeah, that's why rough always confuses me. Because the broken it's not coat, rough. <laughs> it's not. The broken <laughs> coat, which Carson's cousin, Bella, which lives with Becca's parents, her fur is like a Brillo pad. She's a broken coat and it's mm-hmm. hard. It's rough. Well, she has a soft head. <laughs> she has a smooth little yes, head. Smooth little head. <laughs> But the rough coats are actually very long haired and it's very soft. It's almost like a human like texture. Yeah. Yeah. And when people meet Carson, the first thing they say is wishbone or Eddie or the mask. Right. Mm-hmm. They, that's the first thing they always say. And then they say how handsome he is mm-hmm. and I'm invisible. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing they always say is must be nice not to have to deal with shedding. Uh, Yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, Carson sheds like crazy. (laughs) Imagine a super dry Christmas tree with white needles that exploded in your house. Uh That's what it's like. (laughs) It is. That short hair is deceptive. It's actually the long, soft-haired ruzzles that don't shed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know how he's not naked. I mean, <laughs> there's hair Dude. everywhere, but he's still covered in hair. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you pet him once, and then there's a silhouette on the ground where he was standing. <laughs> yes, it's true. I just wish he would let us use that de-shedder brush oh, once in a yes. while. Oh, yes, but no, he wants to eat it instead. So, anyway, so the article continues saying another difference is training. Apparently, Parsons are easier to train, with Jacks likely requiring professional assistance. We've only had Parsons, so we can't really speak on that. Thank God. If Parsons, like our Carson, can be even more headstrong, I I don't know. Right? I feel like I I needed some assistance with him. (laughs) Let alone a JRT. (laughs) We'd have to buy a tool shed for the backyard, and I would live in that. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) Okay, wrapping up, in the areas of exercise and compatibility with human kiddos, both Parson and Jacks require an abundance of both. They love children almost as much as they love running and fetching and jumping until they are utterly exhausted. I get tired just thinking about it. Oh, me too. Now's the perfect time for us to catch our breath. Be right back. <laughs> Aloha Mama Apparel wants to spread the spirit of aloha. Genesis Belote, the creator of Aloha Mama Apparel, was born on the mainland and resides in Southern California. But she cherishes her Hawaiian culture and honors the half of her family that lives on the island. She loves being a mama and a designer. At Aloha Mama, they know being a mama is hard work, but it's the best work. That's why they style mamas and kiddos in apparel that is bright and filled with beachy vibes. For the cutest casual attire celebrating the spirit of Aloha, go to shopalohamama.com. That's shop, A-L-O-H-A-M-A-M-A.com. Shopalohamama.com. Eleven-year-old Walter just may die of boredom doing the most boring summer ever. While exploring an abandoned garden, Walter discovers a mystical elf world where all dead plants spring to life at his touch. The downtrodden elves think Walter is there to save them with his new life-giving powers. To defeat the wicked Ichabod von Schnathoff, before he sucks everyone's joy dry with his never-ending list of rules. Walter will need to use his best power yet 
his imagination. In a dying, oppressed world, one boy has the power to bring freedom and life. Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination will take you and your middle grade reader on a thrilling journey while igniting the depths of your imagination. Boys the Book says, beautiful imagery leads to spectacular world building in this fantasy that will leave the young reader glued to the pages. Relatable characters add to the magic of the story with never a dull moment. Get your magical fingers on a copy of Walter Plume and the Dehydrated Imagination by Rebecca Lynn Morales, now at Amazon.com. Find out more at WalterPlume.com. Let Walter and his story awaken your beautiful and creative imagination. Next up is Instadog of the Week. This week, we have an adorable pair of bona fide Jack Russell Terriers named Miso and Ponzu. You can find <laughs> them at Mimi Ponpon underscore J R T. That's M I M I P O N P O N underscore J R T. And I can tell you straight up. That, just like their Japanese condiment names, Mimi and Pon Pon are absolutely delicious. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> their bio reads, Mimi and Pon Pon's Adventure. Miso was born 25th of December, 2014, Christmas mm -hmm. baby. And Ponzu was November 18th, 2015, Melbourne, Australia, coffee cup emoji. Like uh, <laughs> mama likes some coffee. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they require coffee to keep up. <laughs> Oh, man, there's so many wonderful images on their page. And out of all of them, I think my favorites are the selfies, mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones where they're like cheek to cheek, <laughs> uh, like almost smiling a few inches away from the camera. And there's lots of them, right? Yeah, they're yeah. in various locations. Sometimes uh, mama even catches them while they hug themselves to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look so happy to have each other. And it kind of makes me want to get another one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I know. Okay, well, yes, because sometimes I feel like Carson needs a little friend. He does. But then we'd have to change the name of the podcast to Jack Russell's Parents. Oh, and that's just not going to work. So <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> We have to rebrand. So I think all JRTs are adorable, but these two are really quite yeah, they, they adorable. Taking it up a notch. I mean, and I think mom probably wears glasses. Because there's several <laughs> pictures where mostly I think it's always Ponzu wearing the glasses. Sometimes Miso, I think. But mom puts <laughs> their glasses on their pups and takes their pictures. And they're just these little black wired frame glasses. It's so <laughs> cute. Very Harry Potter-ish. <laughs> And there's one where it says morning reads. It's actually a little <laughs> video and he's got like a blue and white striped shirt on and he's <laughs> posed with this book in front of him and these glasses and he's just blinking. It looks like he's like, <laughs> I don't know, a little French dog, you know, now. <laughs> oh, for, la la. Yeah. <laughs> this morning read. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, We I'll, grew up with two Jack Russells and they were pretty subdued as far as Jack Russells go. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, two of this guy right here. I don't know. I don't know. But the, these guys are cute together. There's also <laughs> some of them swimming. That looks like a lot of fun. But they're just really affectionate dogs. You can tell they're affectionate with one another and mm -hmm. probably with mom, with people. Like, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting, too, is that they are both clearly Jack Russells, but one of them looks like a pudding. Yeah. They got, really, they got the really short, crooked legs. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> pudding. <laughs> I like that there's two different types. <laughs> yeah, got a variety. Well, because miso and ponzu, they taste very different. Yeah, but true. <laughs> <laughs> So be sure to follow at Mimi Ponpon underscore JRT for some Jack Russell cuteness. Whether you are a JRT or PRT or a Puddin or just a dog lover in general, we hope you enjoyed learning these furry factoids. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? 
it's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun dog loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. <laughs> We'd love to connect with you online at jackrussellparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier podcast. The Jack Russell Parents podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrussellparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast. Mm-hmm.